Today I'm going to talk about something slightly different than the normal Home Assistant type devices. It's going to be this right here. This is a smart ornament. If you want it to be smart, it can be hung on your tree or wherever, just out of the box the way it is. Or you can hook it to Home Assistant and then mess around with the colors and the songs and all the other stuff. It does play music. It is battery powered, although I have it currently hooked to USB-C, which is also an option for power. So let's just dig into it. Uh, this was sent to me by Apollo Automation. Get that out of the way. Also, Apollo is going to be donating proceeds from the purchase of this to charities in the Kentucky, U.S. area. So if you buy one of these, you're helping out uh, folks in need. So let's dig into the, some of the details. All right, so let's take a quick look at what this actually looks like. This is the device right here. This is the ornament that you get. It's called the Apollo H1, and it's their ornament that's on their website. It has a bunch of, obviously, a bunch of LEDs on it for color changes, and you can change different effects. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, on the back side, you have your battery thing. It uses a CR123A, and I've already talked to them about this. I had an issue right off the bat trying to use this with um, the CR 123As. And let me show you what I have here for that. I have, uh, this is just a standard CR 123A by Streamlight. Um, Streamlight makes good stuff. I'm not too worried about the battery. I checked the voltage on this, it was fine. What they told me is that you need to have a rechargeable CR 123A battery because it outputs a little bit higher voltage. You get some wonky stuff happening with the the ornament if you use a lower voltage than what it needs. So just keep that in mind. Anyway, we've got the battery on here. You have the button here. This is the, the magic button here. This does everything. Well, it plays the song. So if you push this button, you'll hear a song play. Anyway, that song plays. It uses RTTL songs, so you can download those. I'll show that in here in a second. Uh, that's that button. And then you have a uh, reset button right here. No, this is the boot button. I'm sorry, this is the boot button. You may need that to uh, flash the firmware on it. And then you have the reset button over here. This is the ESP device. This is an ESP, and I know it's backwards. ESP, come on, focus. This is an ESP 32C3 mini, and that's what's on here. And then you have, of course, the USB-C power for it. And then our friend Apollo up here. And then this you can scan for uh, video, some documentation, et cetera, on it. Anyway, let's get into some details about it. Now, if you want to flash this uh, or if you want to um, just use it out of the box, it does come with three songs. The song you just heard was not one of the songs. I already changed that a little bit. But if you, uh, if you go here and you push this little button one time, you hear one song. If you push it two times you hear a different song. And then of course the, the uh, lighting changes for the different songs. And then you press long press it for the third song. And then you can change the lighting and stuff on here as well. This is a uh, green and red pattern. All right, so that's the ornament itself. It's not very, it's not a very complicated thing, but I do want to show you a couple more things. If you want to uh, attach this or connect it to Home Assistant, uh, you can go to their website and there's information about um, all of this on the website. So you've got the introduction of what it is. It's a holiday ornament designed to bring cheer and whatnot to your uh, home while supporting a good cause. So H1 is pre-flashed with a playful firmware featuring three classic songs. That's what you heard two of the three. The first one's Jingle Bells. Uh, press the gold button on the back. You can enjoy those with the LED effects. Uh, again, sleigh bells, Rudolph the Red Nose, and Let It Snow. And then each one has its own show. If you want to personalize the experience, you can also integrate it with Home Assistant, add it into some automations, and make it a smart ornament. So getting started, uh, you insert the battery, turn on the ornament, play the songs by the buttons. You can flash the H1 firmware and then connect it to Home Assistant. So if we were to go look at the H1 firmware, 
uh, you basically go to this install page. I'm not gonna go through all this. This is exactly like you do with anything else. You plug it into your computer, you'll click on connect. It'll show a serial port here, uh, connect to it. Uh, if it's working, um, I may have to reset it. If it does that, by the way, if you see this and you try to connect to it and it says no, you need to turn it on and you need to uh, hold the boot button. So there's a, a boot button on here. You hold down the boot button when you power it up and that's this button on this side. So you'll hold this down when you try to connect to it and then it'll work. So in fact, let me just do that. And sometimes you have to pull the power off of it and then hold the boot button then plug it back in. So hold that boot button when you plug it back in for a couple seconds, then try to connect to it. And now it starts to connect. That happens sometimes, but then once you get it connected, then you can click on either the install the H1. And then if you want to look at the logs, you can look at the logs as well. And this is what it looks like when it's running. It won't do anything in boot mode. So you can flash it, you can look at the logs, but it won't really do anything in boot mode. So then in that case, you would power cycle it again, take it out of boot mode and then reconnect to it. I'm making it seem a lot more complicated than it really is because I'm playing around with it rather than just uh, using it normally. And now you'll see the logs in console and you should be able to push the button on here. And it starts to play of course, and then you see the log information here. So if you want to flash it, that's what you do. And then it takes you through all these steps here for adding it to Home Assistant, uh, which is the setup guide right here. This is the same for any other, uh, any other getting started for ESP devices. You basically turn it on. Uh, once you flash the firmware, then you'll see a hotspot available from it. You connect to 192.168.4.1. You choose your Wi-Fi and set it up. And then Home Assistant will discover it. And once it discovers it, you can add it to Home Assistant. So once you get it to Home Assistant, you will see under ESP Home. And if you're curious about all this, by the way, I do have the a few of the other Apollo devices in my videos here that I've connected to Home Assistant via ESP Home. Just follow along, it's the same exact process. Anyway, so what you have here is you have these uh, options available to you. You have the accessory power, which by the way is required to turn on the light. If you just want to turn on the light, ooh, that's bright. Uh, you can do that. Turn the lights on and off. That's pretty simple. Let me just show you uh, what it looks like here. So if we turn on the light here, remember accessory power has to be on. And then turn on the RGB light. You'll see that come on. Let me shut these off for a minute. And then you have the option of choosing the effects down here. There are a number of effects that you can use. So you have slow pulse pulse and it gets super bright and you have fast pulse and then you have rainbow wave which is that right there and then you have the twinkling white lights and then of course you have the red and green and if you don't like any of the effects just turn the effects off and you can change the colors at random to whatever color you want these are great for, for different notifications. You can use this ornament as some sort of notification thing as well. That's kind of neat because you can set this up in automations. Now, remember, this is because we're connected to Home Assistant through ESP Home. Okay, there is that ornament. Let me give you some of me lighting. There we go. Battery voltage and stuff is not known because we don't have a battery in it right now. And then this is where you would change some of the songs. These are all RTTL songs. Um, you can search Google for RTTL. And you can just find some RTTL songs. Here's some stuff here. Um, so if I wanted to do this main theme for Super Mario, I would just copy. I mean, there are, these things are all over the place. I would just copy this and I would put it in here in one of these songs. You've got the song double click, the song long click and the song single click. I'll put it in the song single click. And hopefully that works. You don't really have to save anything here. It should upload it to the device. And then if you push um, the single click, then you should actually uh, hear the song and see some lighting, hopefully. I don't know a lot about RTTL stuff, so 
If it doesn't work, then choose a different RTTL song. I will go back to some stuff I was using earlier. These RTTL songs here all seem to work. So if I, I just take this one, for example, or let's take a short one and I'll just copy that and I'll put it into the song slot for single click. And again, I don't really understand the RTTL stuff myself. I don't use it very much, but Yep, that was uh, very short. Let's do it again. You just, uh, you have to wait for this to stop because these lights will continue to be on for a few seconds after the song is finished playing. And once the song is over and the lights are out, then you can push it again. Otherwise it will tell you that it's um, still doing something. All right, so let me do it one more time. I'll push the, uh, the long click or the single click. Sorry about that, single click. And it plays a little song. Hopefully you can hear that. So that's how you change those. You can uh, update those songs as often as you want for whatever you want. But what if you want to automate this? First thing I want to do is I want to show you in the developer tools. If you just search for Apollo H1, H underscore one, you have a play buzzer, which doesn't do anything, but you have song one, song two, and song three. So if I play song one, and I hit the perform action over here, uh, you'll see that it actually does something. So it plays that first song. So what that means is you can put stuff into automation. So we're gonna create a quick automation. We're gonna create an automation, whoops. So click the create automation button over here, just new automation. I'm just gonna do an action here. And that action is gonna be to call service. Or perform action now. It's not called call service anymore. And it's going to be Apollo H1. And we're going to play, let's play song two. And then I'm going to save it. And it's going to say play song two on ornament. Save that. Now you could you could absolutely do a trigger of any kind here. You could add something like uh, at sunset play that song or whatever. So if we did that, it's just random. You could do it at a certain time, whatever, at sunset, uh, then you wanna play that, so save that. And then if I wanna run the automation, I can do that. And then you'll see now that it's done something. So I basically ran the automation and you can see that up here that I called it and it ran that uh, play song too with this stuff. So it is possible to do all kinds of automations with this. I'll leave the automation imagination to you, but you can make this ornament as smart as you want it to, or just leave it the way it is out of the box, support a charity. And I did say I was gonna find out what charities those were. So if you pre-order now, it ships in early December, 2024. So they're not quite ready yet. Um, it says rechargeable on here. So make sure you use a rechargeable, like I said. The battery's not included, it must be sourced separately. The reason they do that is shipping uh, lithium batteries through any shipper is a pain to, to do. So they just would uh, rather you get a battery and you can buy a rechargeable. You may have rechargeable batteries already. So as of 11.7, they've already raised $700 for this. So the charities that are gonna uh, uh, help with this are, are called the Toy Chest and Casa of Lexington. So the Toy Chest, supplies children in need with gifts and CASA of Lexington provides volunteers and resources on behalf of children in the family court system. So those are two charities. You buy one of these things, um, they will supply or they will uh, help support those charities. All right. I mean, not a lot you can say about it. <laughs> Interesting little video. I don't usually do stuff like this, but uh, it's a charity. It helps out folks in need and it's a fun little toy to play with an example of something you can do with um, smart home automation and ESP devices and all that. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. And you can also reach me on Discord. Uh, talk to the Apollo folks if you need them, they're really helpful as well. And go out and get you one of these things or two or three or four and support a good cause and have a little fun doing it. And with that, we'll see you on the next video.